Hey guys, so I want to talk to you for just a minute about sanctification. Um, it is a common misconception among well-meaning believers that sanctification is completely separate from salvation and justification um, and that it's achieved basically by keeping commandments and cleaning up your flesh being sin sinless as sinless as possible in your flesh um, and so m most believers don't have any problem whatsoever with admitting that justification being declared innocent before God uh, is achieved at the moment of salvation in full that you know our sin debt was paid and that we have the righteousness of Christ imputed to us and in that we are saved purely by grace through faith but then they say now let's go on to sanctification which they believe basically is about not sinning or keeping the commandments and the law um, and you know, we don't want to be like the Galatians. You know, Paul said, Oh, foolish Galatians, who's bewitched you? you no, know, did you begin? Did you receive the Spirit by faith or by the works of the law? And are you now going to be um, perfected by the law or continue on in the law? You know, having begun in the Spirit, are you now going to be perfected by the by works? of the law and um and i didn't quote that exactly i paraphrase guys but that if you read everything uh, in context basically he's saying you know as a christian we live in the spirit we walk in the spirit we are in the spirit and sanctification is not achieved in the way that many people think it is by being sin conscious and sin focused and trying not to sin in our flesh it is about, again, identity truths. And we talked about this um, in the whole Armor of God series that we've been doing and studying in the Bible. Um, even the Armor of God is so much about identity truths, about what Christ has and is accomplishing, and how we're complete in Christ, who we are in Christ, knowing who, that, who we are, not laying down that identity um, and giving in to the lies of the enemy and just uh, forfeiting that, basically not standing in that. And so sanctification, you know, you, when you read the word and you bring um, your carnal mind, your thoughts into agreement and submission to the word of God, the truths taught in scripture about who you are in Christ, um, and you stand on that and you look to Jesus and you look forward and you move forward, not being, not having um, an evil conscience, not having a sin consciousness that we're not supposed to have as believers, like constantly being focused on the sin and constant uh, daily sin repentance or feeling like you're not forgiven if you're not constantly repenting of your daily sins. Um, but looking forward and thanking God you are forgiven and moving forward with him because the strength of sin is the law. So if you become sin focused and, and commandment focused, uh, um, and, and the Ten Commandments are part of the Mosaic Law, the Law of Moses, they're 10 out of the 613 of the law. And the Bible says that, you know, no one was ever justified by the law. And we don't, we don't begin, you know, we don't, become saved by the law and we don't maintain our salvation by the law nor can we be sanctified by the law it is his spirit it is jesus's work it's his salvation sanctification is his complete work start to finish and we achieve it by resting in him by agreeing with him what he says is true and just having faith in that we walk by faith and not by sight and that way you keep moving forward. Your eyes are on Jesus. They're not turned inward on yourself. Um, and he changes you and he does his work in you and through you as you trust and rest in him. 
And uh, so we need to realize, look in the Bible and, and look what, what it says. Write down everything that Jesus Christ has accomplished and your identity in him and stand on that. And as you learn to bring every thought captive into the, into the truth that is taught in God's word, you will naturally be uh, progressively daily sanctified. But you know, guys, our flesh isn't going to enter into heaven. Our, our flesh of sin, God is done with your flesh. That's why he nailed it to the cross with Jesus. That's why we're going to get glorified bodies. And um, so, you know, our inner man, our spirit, we are sanctified and we are clean and in perfect position to um, our Holy Father, God. So remember that and just remember that it is all Christ and what he has done and what he is doing. And he gets all the glory and just trust fully in him. That's how you rest in him. That's how he does his work in you. And the fruit of the spirit is produced in you. All right. I love you guys. Bye-bye.